Uh, big word, John 14, verse 6. Yeah, yeah, Jesus answered. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, no one comes to the Father except through me. Wow. John 14, verse 6. John 14, verse 6. John 14, verse 6. Ah, uh, here we go. I am the way, I am the truth. Good morning, children. I'm so excited to be with you on this beautiful Sunday morning. How are you all doing? I'm sure you are having fun with your long summer vacation. Mommy and daddy must be giving you all a treat. Um, today, we're going to be looking at a very, very interesting topic. And I can't wait to share it with you. We're going to be talking about truth. Yes, I said truth. We're going to be dealing with questions like, who is the truth? What is the truth? Can a person be the truth? And who is this person? But before we look into all of that, you know, there's something very important we normally do. And that is to take our identity confession. Yes. Let's go. I am wonderfully made. I am fearfully made. I know my identity. I am a child of God. I am creative and full of ideas. I am not a slave to fear. I am bold. I am a soldier in the Lord's army. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Yes, yes, yes. We must all remind ourselves of who we are in Christ. Wonderful. So back to today's topic. Today, we'll be studying the character of Jesus Christ and how we relate to being the truth. Yes, Jesus is the truth. But what does it mean? What does it mean when Jesus says, I am the truth? There are various things that point to the fact that Jesus is the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So the way. Jesus lived a life of love kindness and obedience to God by following his example we learn how to act and make choices that honor God just like how we follow road signs to reach our destination that is exactly what Jesus is to us he is the way just like a map or GPS helps us to find the right direction Jesus helps us to know how to live a life that pleases God. Jesus shows us the right path to take as we journey through this world. We should always follow his leading because Jesus will never lead us, his children, astray. He is the good shepherd and he will direct our path according to God's will for our lives. Now, there are several places in the Bible that tells us about the Good Shepherd. And an example of such 
scriptural reference is John chapter 10, verse 11 to 18. And I read, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. And verse 12 says, But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and liveth the sheep, and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The scripture above simply further makes strong the claim that Jesus is our good shepherd, and he can't sit and let Am come to his sheep, come his sheep's way, we his children. The truth is, he loves us unconditionally. Now, to our main discourse for today, the truth. What is true? Or, what is the truth? Truth means something that is real and correct. When Jesus says he is the truth, he means that everything he says and does is true and comes from God. Reliable and trustworthy. Jesus can be trusted because he always tells the truth. And he keeps his promises. Jesus like how Jesus like how we trust our parents or teachers to tell us the truth. We can trust Jesus completely. There is no lie in, in Jesus. There is no lie in Jesus. Flashlight in the dark. Using a flashlight in the dark helps to reveal what is really there. Jesus as the truth helps us to understand what is real and right in our lives. He is the one that lights our path. Foundation. Before building a house, one must lay a strong foundation to make it firm and stand secure. Our lives need the truth of Jesus to be strong and secure. Jesus says in John chapter 14 verse 6, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is the truth revealed in human form. Because you might wonder, how can Jesus be the truth? Is everything about him is the truth revealed in human form. He was born for a special purpose, which was to save the sinful world. The part B of the scripture above exposes this truth about Jesus. Truly, no one can come to God the Father except through Jesus the Son. He is the truth. We would have been, we would have been able to pay for all. We would have been able to pay for all our bad behaviors in this world if not for Jesus. Take some time to think about this. Jesus Himself teaches the truth about God and himself. The life. The life. Jesus gave us a life full of joy and purpose. Much like our plants need sunlight to grow, there will never be a time when plants won't need sunlight. Jesus is the living water that nurtures us to full bloom. Let us look at the scriptures below. The vine and the branches. John chapter 15 verse 1 to 5. John chapter 15 verse 1 says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband one, husband man, excuse me. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth that it may bear, bring forth much fruit. Jesus has given us life by giving up his life on the cross. So we can have life in abundance. He expects us to become fruitful by displaying all the fruits of the spirit that is in us anywhere we find ourselves. Let us not take for granted the life that he has bestowed upon us. The above scripture reminds us to let our fruit show. He is pruning us daily for our God-given purposes. 
Now, what are the practical applications? How can we apply all this that Antifunto is saying to our various lives? Number one, very important, honesty. Being honest and telling the truth in our lives, following Jesus' example is another way of revealing God's truth to people around us. Another good practical application is seeing the Bible as the truth. The Bible is not just an ordinary book. It is the word of God and it contains the truth about Jesus and how we should live our lives. So we should, we should use it as our manual or our guide to help us reflect the truth about God in our daily living, in school, at a friend's birthday party, and so on. We should not be caught doing things that Jesus won't do, like fighting, stealing, telling fibs, bullying, rudeness, and being badly behaved. We can take out an activity. How about an activity? We are going to create a truth booklet. And everyone will write or draw at least three things they know is true about Jesus. So cut some pieces of papers together and draw out something that you believe to be true about Jesus. And let an adult around you look into it and and assess what you have drawn. Let us know what you think, what you did, and you can pass across that message to us later. In conclusion, Jesus being the truth means he is the ultimate source of all that is true and trustworthy, and that his teachings and promises are always true. Our memory verse. Our memory verse is very easy because it's what we've been talking about all through the day. It's taken from John chapter 14, verse 6. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let's take it again. John chapter 14, verse 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let us pray. Thank Jesus for being the truth and for showing us what is right and true. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your guidance and giving and give us the grace and strength to help us in, in living out the truth in our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. So little children, my beautiful children, I want to say thank you for paying attention and listening carefully to, the, to, the, to today's lesson. I trust that you will continue to have fun doing this vacation. Take time to rest, take time to play, take time to study, and also take time to reflect on what you have learned today. So till next time, once again, this is Antifunto. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. And it's bye for now. Bye. Omoberry! Where is everyone?
The best thing you can do when you get into trouble is tell the truth. Tell the truth. It is bravery to be truthful. A harmless kid will tell the truth. Tell the truth.